Hey everyone, Retire on Dividends here. Um, just wanted to make a kind of like a follow-up video or maybe what we'll call a redo video that has a little more information in regards to the Tesla reverse stock split. So this Friday after hours, or should I say before Monday morning of next week, um, we will have a reverse split. And when I say Friday, I mean February 23rd or Monday the 26th. So Tesla will do a reverse split on, you know, it's fun. It'll do a one for two. And the website, actually, if you go to the prospectus on Tesla, that's what actually comes up, which is weird. So if we pull up the YieldMax website, and we go to prospectus, this is what comes up. It's not the prospectus, it's the actual information about the reverse split. Not sure why they don't have this as a separate document, but okay, so this is dated, what, February 13th, blah, 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 yield max, you know, Tesla option income strategy, reverse split ratio, one for two, approximate decrease in total number of shares, 50%, I don't know why it says approximate, but um, yeah, as a result of the reverse split, every two shares of the fund will be exchanged for one share of the fund accordingly. The total number of issued and outstanding shares for the fund will decrease by 50%. In addition, the per share net asset value and the next day's opening market price will be approximately two times higher. Okay? So this will reflect, it shows February 26 at the latest. Some brokers do things earlier than others, but I just wanted to get this video out there to remind you, don't be surprised this weekend when you go into your account, you have a lot less shares of TSLY, but then again, the price will go up. The charts may reflect it temporarily, but then I'm sure it will be adjusted. So some other information on, on Investopedia stupid pop-up see you can't get these pop-ups out of here let's try oh i did it what are the rules behind delisting a stock because the reason i pulled this up i just wanted to mention one of the reasons one of the main reasons that companies do reverse splits is because they do not want to get delisted off of their exchange okay so I just wanted to explain, you know, what the process is. So delisting is the term describing the process of a company becoming removed. So these stupid pop-ups from the exchange it trades on. It may be delisted as a result of failing to meet the exchange laundry list of requirements. I felt, I felt some sarcasm there. The, the listing criteria include maintaining trading price thresholds, which I'll get into a second for certain time frames, minimum revenue standards. Not sure that's applicable to ETFs. Market capitalization thresholds and shareholder percentage requirements. Okay, companies in breach of an exchange listing mandates are initially sent non-compliance notifications affording them certain windows of time to address these issues before they're ultimately delisted. So it looks like they even are given an opportunity to, you know, address like what they need to do. So, so it's not like they get delisted right away. So TSLY trades on the New York Stock Exchange. So the listing requirements for the New York Stock Exchange is they cannot be below a dollar for 30 consecutive trading days or else that would initiate the delisting process. So whenever we talk about the amounts, um, you know, I, I think everyone always says all right, like around like five dollars, they, they may decide to do the reverse split because they don't want to get delisted. So, but in reality, they could just let that thing go to a dollar, less than a dollar, right? Because even when it goes under a dollar, they have 30 days. So what would cause yield max to do a reverse split at $8? At the time, I believe it was $8. I'm not, the, the only thing I could think of is they want their ETFs to be priced at a similar range, which is obviously the $20 range. I'll, I'll say 15 to 25 dollar range, right? But even so, eight dollars is not all that bad. So I'm not sure what the actual rush was. Maybe they maybe they got dinged on something else, but looking at this list, I don't see anything that would make them. Um, 
another thing is, you know, a lot of companies do reverse splits. So, you know, if I pull up like market beat, for example, although this is stocks, this shows you, oh my God. How do I get rid of this? All right, forget it. These were stocks anyway, so screw you, Market Beat. Um, so let's go to you know Global X. Everyone knows Global X, right? They have QYLD and all those other ones, right? So this is from November eighteenth, twenty twenty two. Look at all the funds that did a reverse split: SDIV, SDEM, SRET. Tons of them did a reverse split. One for three, one for four. So it's not, you know, oh wait, yeah, that's the reverse split. Why is there two sections? Oh, that's the illustration, okay. So yeah, companies like Global X have plenty of funds that do reverse split. So this is normal, you know, this is a normal course of action on certain types of funds. Except, you know, especially like, you look, super dividend, okay. Super dividend ETF, that tells you it could involve options, so things like that, you know, they tend to more so trend down. And then you look at ProShares, you know, ProShares, obviously another fund, you know, they have some, where are they at? Reverse splits, um, one for two, one for two, one for two, one for two, one for five, all these, SQQQ, I know that one, I don't really know these other ones, but it doesn't matter. So ProShares has plenty of funds that do reverse split, you know, YieldMax is not the only one doing reverse splits here. And then you have even JP Morgan, you know, JP Morgan had a couple tickers, BBCA, BBSA, all these, they did a one for two, one for two, one for two, a bond ETF, one for two, look at that. So again, I just wanted to show you guys all of the different, you know, fund managers, fund companies that, are, that do reverse split. Last but not least, I just pulled up Direxion, one for 10, one for 20. You know, granted, these are triple leverage funds, but still, you get the gist. It's not uncommon for an ETF to do a reverse split. I just want to get that point out. So, yes, it looks terrible. It sounds terrible. And for in some people's case, it is terrible, but it is, it is not uncommon. Now, I redid my spreadsheet to just, you know, again, I just I did the scenario, what it looks like, what it could look like. Um, so if you saw my first video, some of this is repetitive, uh, but if you look, you know, in summary, pre-split, if you have 10 shares with a cost basis of 1333, yes, that's my terrible cost basis, um, on Monday or even, a, again, it could be Friday after hours, it's, some brokers work fast, it, you know, I don't know when you'll see it, but either way, by Monday at the open, you'll have five shares and you'll have a cost basis of 26.66. Also, TSLY, which is currently priced at 907, will no longer show 907. It'll now be 1814. Again, the price is going to change, but you know, you get the gist. So, whatever you have in total amount of shares as of the Friday close, they're going to take half of that. But they're going to increase the value of you know, TSLY by double. And they're going to do that by cutting the outstanding shares in half. Okay. So as you see, the value in column E will remain the same. So the value in your account stays exactly the same. The distribution. So last time we got 40 cents. If all is the same exact process, then yes, the distribution technically will not change. So, you know, <coughs> If we got if this happened before last month got paid out, yes, we would have got 80 cents a share. So the yield overall should not change. Okay. Obviously, the yield changes every month. So what we're gonna get paid next month, you know, I'm sure it's not gonna be 80 cents exactly. I mean, I hope it's more because 40 cents was a very low payment. Maybe they'll pay 90 cents, right? So again, you get the gist. It'll be in that range. The yield will be around the 50% range. That is for sure. That's one thing they've always been consistent on. Um, at least up until now. So we'll see what happens. But again, I just wanted to show you what it will look like. Is this alarming to you? I mean, it should not be. Your value is not changing, all right? The distribution you're getting is not changing. Obviously, the price of TSLY has gone down, but you already know that. That is not news to you. Um, so the reason we're doing a reverse split is because the price went down. Obviously, that is the bad part. That is the bad part of it. That is the only bad part about it. 
But that's already come and gone. That's already happened. So that is not news. Um, so this is just, you know, basically some change in accounting. And that's it. That's all it is. All right, I have 10 shares. Now I have five. Okay, done. Whoopie doo. Obviously, my cost basis is going to look very ugly on Monday. But, you know, maybe they're tempting me to average down. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But actually, I have 1,000 shares um, personally. And uh, so I'll have 500 on Monday, which, okay, it's not as good looking as 1,000, but it is what it is. All right. So now I added some more things since the last video, the how and the why. So I, I talked about this already, but they want to avoid getting delisted from the New York Stock Exchange. I assume that is the number one reason why they're doing this. Obviously, per the rules that we just read, the price of the stock would have to be under a dollar for 30 consecutive days. So is that the only reason they're worried about? I don't know. But again, they had so much time. Again, my guess is they want the price to be around, you know, a similar target for all of these funds. That's my guess. I don't know. We'll see when another fund goes down to eight bucks. Um, obviously, if they get delisted, then they'll be trading on pink sheets, which, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to be a part of that. Um, that's like off, off the exchanges. So nobody really messes with that. I don't even, I don't even know how you even start that. So anyway, what about, what are the pros? Well, to me, the pros are the fund manager, whether it's the current or a new one, they are now feeling the pressure to maybe have a little better performance. Should they have had had a reverse split already you know it's been a little over a year right should they have had a reverse split i don't know obviously the company knows okay tsly had a reverse split who's running this fund so maybe the fund manager feels pressure maybe not who knows uh the the other pro is we could stop talking about when will the reverse split happen that's a famous question when will tesla do a reverse split they're no longer going to ask the question they may ask when will Tesla do the next reverse split? But I assume that question will not come until we get below $10 again. But let's hope that does not happen. Another pro, the distribution will look, you know, sexy to the outside world, right? 40 cents, not sexy. A dollar? Okay, that's sexy. Are we going to get a dollar? You never know. But it's now it's now possible. Um, especially now, you know, TSLY is almost going to, it could hit $10, right? Could hit $10, not by this week, but... Uh, because of the low calls, but maybe by next week it could hit ten dollars, which well, next week it could hit twenty dollars, which would mean like you know if they're in the twenty dollar range, there's more possibility they could pay out a dollar per month. So what are the cons? Well, the cons are there could be a mass sell off. However, you know I've been tracking the outstanding shares since the news came out, and that has not been the case. If you look. I think it was announced around February 14th. Uh, was that when yeah, I already closed that paper? But I think that's when that thing was dated. February 14th, 90,300,000. As of yesterday, or should I say today's holdings, they have 89,725,000. So that's not bad at all. All right. I don't consider that a mass sell off, not one bit. So that is a con. That could be a con, but it was not a con. Uh, another con is terrible pu publicity. Again, we've seen it. It's already out. The, it's, the bad news bears are out. The, the bad thumbnails, the Tesla's awful, Tesla's garbage, Tesla's doing reverse split. What a joke. You guys are stupid for buying this fund. It's all out there already. And then after the, the reverse split happens, they'll continue it. So it's out there. Um, I'm sure Seeking Alpha is doing it. I'm sure, you know, people are writing bad articles. So, you know, this is their chance to, of course, but that's another con. If you consider it a con, you know, Tesla, Tesla gets negative articles anyway, but this is just adding fuel to the fire. Another con is obviously, we talked about this before, it means the ETF price went down. So that's a clear con. It already happened. So it already affected us mentally, physically, whatever. You know, it's in our account. Our Tesla went down. We know. But yes, of course, that's a con. To me, that's the only con. You know, the fact that we're in this position, it's a con, but it's the only con, right? But uh, it is what it is. Now, something else I pulled up. Um, this time I added dividends or distributions, I should say. So Tesla launched at $20.04. As of February 21st, 
Tesla was priced at 908. And then Tesla, Tesla had total distributions about 1008. I think I did this right. So total change um, inception to date, if you invested at inception, you'd be down 88 cents or 4.39%. However, they mimic the movement of Tesla and they are capped, you know, at the upside of Tesla. Tesla from the same dates, it only went up 6.32%, which, you know, that's not that great for Tesla. So overall, it's like a 10% variance, which is all not all that bad if you think about it. Um, obviously, you know, you need the underlying to perform, you know, a little better. Look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Could you imagine if, if this was doing what NVIDIA was doing? Obviously, we'd be in a much better position. There would be no reverse split. There'd be a regular split at this point. You know, NVIDIA's, NVIDIA's priced at, what, 27 bucks right now? It's really absolutely insane. And Kony has done the same. Kony's the only one that hit 30 bucks. NVIDIA's about to do it. But yes, this is, of course, possible on other funds like TSLY. But Tesla's not moving. As you can see, $11 in over, over a year. $11 year and what three four months eleven dollar increase good lord obviously it's gone up massively and down massively but you get the gist i mean it is what it is what can they do so yeah as of this friday again i just wanted to make a quick video because a quick reminder just you know to explain what's going on a little more detail to show you guys it's not uncommon for etfs to do reverse splits um so yeah obviously i did that original video as soon as i could uh, but I make a follow-up video with, you know, a little better examples. And hopefully this explained it a little better, make give a little comfort, um, you know, about things. But a lot of people, they sold out if they're going to sell. I'm sure most, most people did. I saw a lot of messages saying, oh, you know, I'm out of Tesla. Uh, you know, I, I don't blame you. Obviously, it's a different type of fund. I don't think tes Tesla shows enough implied volatility for how much it moves, to be honest. So sometimes the risk is not worth the reward. So I completely get it. Believe me, I am not like some Tesla lover that is going to yell at you for selling Tesla. I don't give a damn, you know, sell it. Do what's right for you, right? The fact that I'm still holding it, that, you know, is amazing because, you know, they piss me off all the time. But sometimes they, I'm, a, you know, I'm wrong, you know, for questioning some of their moves because they, they are smart and they track this this stuff properly. So it's pretty, it's been a pretty amazing journey. But anyway, so we can get this reverse split out of the way this weekend and we can move on. But yeah, I just wanted to explain this in a little more detail. Hopefully I did it some justice. Um, as always, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Clearly, please do your own research. These videos are for fun and entertainment. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please click the like button. If you sold out before or as soon as the reverse split got announced, please let me know in the comments. And was the reason the reverse split? If not, what was the reason? I'm just curious. You know, it's fine. We can talk about it. Why would you sell out of Tesla? That's what I want to know. Why? Obviously, I know why you would, but I'm just curious what your reasoning is. Um, and also, if you, you know, let me know if you did not sell out of Tesla, do you care about this reverse split? Does this affect you in any which way? Would you have preferred that they hold off? until a dollar, until two dollars, until three dollars, you know, what do you think? What do you think about this? I don't know. I think they should have held off, but that's just me. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, and as always, you know, I appreciate it, you know, and um, that's it. That's all I got for today. I got to go. Have a great day. Later.